laid down prior to uh, school starting. Uh, then I want to start getting that information. You saw Mr. C.W. Woodford with his phone on a video at night because he's already ready to start e-blasting stuff. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> you see, to, tonight. He, he's ready to start blasting tonight that this is what Irving Cedar is doing. This is what Dr. Brown is doing. This is another way mm -hmm. we're trying to help our children because our children minds over the summer get relaxed. Thank God for the mayor's reading program. But how many of us really have our children reading during the summer? So when the bell rings, their mind is still on summer break. And it takes them a while to get acclimated back to reading again and back to applying these principles. And so to give our children an advantage and not be behind, you know, once I saw what Mr. Everett was presenting, I'm like, man, our kids need that. And hearing, you know, Sister Quartation tonight, you know, she's in UT Austin, but she's still, you know, her mind already getting sharp already. Right, right. Seriously, I'm just sitting listening to her tonight. Right. And she's asking the question, I said, see, that's what I'm talking about. That light is coming on. He's already getting her mind right. into problem solving issues in those areas. And that's what our kids need. And they need to be taught by someone who understands them, who knows how to teach them so he can prepare them. So I'm getting ready to close. And, and Every city members, I ask you all the question, you know, can we get our kids to a one-day summer camp? Amen. You know, because uh, I believe we can do it. Uh, like I said, I want at least 100 kids, and preferably 200 young people. Like I said, I'm asking people on the outside to help us, you know, even in tangible ways. Uh, because, again, uh, the book that they would have to have is $25 per book. But we're trying to get sponsors to help us so the kids won't have to worry about, you know, right. paying for the book that the book will be paid for. Uh, but the reality is we're going to be showing you how we're going to be signed up, how they're going to register, because we're going to have to have some free registration done right. so we can know where our numbers are. Right. Right. You know, and so the reason I'm doing this to us as a group, because it takes us to get the word out. Right. To say, hey, this is what pastor is doing. Because in the Sunday school lesson, Ezra had a 900 mile journey to make. He went to the king and got the king's blessing, but he told the king that God was with him. And the king wanted to send an army of men with him. He said, no, we don't need that protection. God is with us. But what the king did do, you know, the king talked about money, possessions, and other things to help him on the way. But he needed no protection. He just needed the king's provision. Y'all, we're getting provisions, but we need our people. Yeah. Us to step up and say, here are our children. Help our children, because I honestly believe we can educate our children in a positive way. They will score better on their tests. Right. They will perform better in other subjects, because they now have confidence. And you, you'll be amazed at how important it is just to have confidence in yourself. Oh, yeah. Self-confidence, just to believe in yourself. It's amazing when you can walk in the classroom saying, I can, instead of walking in there saying, I can't. Right. It's amazing when you can walk in and say, I know how, instead of saying, I don't know how. So they're in the back, in the corner, acting up so they can get put out of the class on purpose. So they don't have to worry about answering any questions. But we want to prepare our young people so while they're in the classroom, they can excel and become contributing citizens in society. So uh, thank you again, uh, Mr. Ed. We're moving forward. Like I said, I'll be talking to some of us youth workers and, and school teachers and stuff. Let's nail down the date. Uh, let's get uh, Mr. C.W. Whitaker already said, coming soon, real soon, at the RVC, the church. One in math camp for our children because it is needed to help our children. Because again, when you look at the math schools and, and uh, Sister Bernice Candy was telling us in Vacation Bible School, was it 75, 73%? At, at one of your at one of your elementary schools, you know, I think it's seventy three percent at one of the elementary schools. African American African American children failed the math portion. Well, now was that the what's the test? The star test, you know, the, 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 the math star. You have so many tests, you all. Why ask those who deal with it? At one of the schools that she worked at, seventy three percent of the African American children failed the the math part of that star test. So that says we have to do something. Because again, when they fail that, again, their confidence goes down. Mm -hmm. right. And so not only do they act up in math, they also act up on the English portion. So now they just stop trying. Yeah. Because they feel like I'm a failure. 
But that was a book that I made five or three years ago. Failure is not an option. And we as adults, we as parents, we as caretakers, we need to encourage our children in love and allow them to understand that failure is not an option. We're going to love you. We're going to give you all the tools you need to succeed. And so, Irving Cedar, I need your support in help making this math count possible. So I'm saying this so when the word go out, it'll be positive in Irving Cedar saying we're bringing our children. We're going to pack this place out Amen. for those four hours. Amen. You know, we're going to have them here so that when school starts, their minds will be prepared. Do I have y'all? Can y'all help me? Amen. Yes, sir. Will y'all yes. support? Listen, you, you wish you would always have 100% support. You know, that don't always happen. But you take what you have and you do what you can with that. Uh, and I just believe, even with what's represented here tonight, if we take what we have, we can get over 100 children in this place. And that's why I said we're going to have to do a pre-registration form. You know, we'll let you know what the agent is going to be. That's why I'm asking about the paperwork tonight. Uh, he's already started having it all drawn up. We're ready to hit the ground running. You know, and I'll be, you know, talking to uh, our youth workers and our school teachers about some dates real soon to see whether which day is better than one day during the week or on a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. But let's make it happen. Let's do this. And like I said, when we start talking about pre-registration, I need your support. Amen. I need your help That's in right. pre-registering because that gives us an idea of how many to prepare for. Yeah. So the sponsors can know also what's going on. So help me get that word out. So when we start talking about pre-registration, people can say, well, why do you need to pre-register? So we can know what kind of numbers to expect. Amen? amen. amen. Y'all, let, let's do it like it's a sermon. Say amen. It sounds like it's a truth. <laughs> amen. You know, that way I know you're listening to that. Uh, but we need to do this for our future. We need to do it for our children. Because the reality is, one day, someone may have to help us. And if we're not teaching, if we're not training, we're not preparing, into whose hands may we fall? 